welcome back to the arbitrary youtube channel today we'll be learning how to make this beautiful balloon sleeve with a twist okay it's a twisted balloon sleeve the twist is around the mid part of the organza here so i used an organza fabric and an ankara fabric for this if this is what you would like to learn kindly stay tuned to the end of this tutorial thank you to make this sleeve i'll be working with this ankara fabric as my basic fabric for my sleeve you can also use lace fabric as seen on the thumbnail and for the puffy part i'll be working with this organza fabric okay so now the organza that you need depends on how big you want your ball sleeve to be and how many fabric you have to spare so i have about this is around it's just a little about about half inch here you can see okay so this is like half inch of organza so this is what i have to work with and this is what i'm using if you want yours to be bigger you can work with a bit bigger organza okay so now i have my basic sleeve like this and i'll be sectioning the sleeve okay the first section is going to be around the bicep area i'm just going to take my tape rule and measure five inches like this and then i'm going to make it into a straight line this part is not compulsory it's because this is the design that i want okay that is why i'm working with this okay so i was referring to this if you check this picture very well you will see that the ruffle doesn't start on the shoulder area here it doesn't start exactly where we have our shoulder i hope you can see this well okay it doesn't start here where we have our shoulder so you, they went down by a bit before they placed the ruffle, which is what I'm marking here. So it depends on what you want to do. You can do four, you can do three inches, and you can even go lower than this. So this is going to be my first partition. And the next partition is going to be where the ruffle stop, which is around here. So now you can also decide where you want your ruffle to stop. For me, I think my ruffle is fine around 14 inches, okay? So this is not a full long sleeve, it's, this is a three-quarter sleeve, so if you are using a long sleeve, you know you extend this and you decide where you want your ruffles to be. So these are the two partitions that I'll be working with for this sleeve. The first one is for the bicep and the first second one is for where the ruffle will stop. So like I said, I'm working with an aganza of around half yard, okay? Assuming I have more, I can decide to double this organza. So let's say I have like one yard. Instead of working with this half yard alone, I can decide to double it like this before I start working on it. So if I double it, I'll have something like this. What this just do is, it just makes it thicker. It will be so soft to make it thicker so that your ball gown will be fuller. But for this illustration purpose, I'll just be working with it as a single fabric like this. And to know the amount of fabric you need for your width, you can just measure what we have here. I have around 13 inches here and you can multiply this by 3. So if you multiply 13 inches by 3, it's going to give you around... Sorry. This is going to give you around 39 inches, thereabouts. So now let me see what I have here. Okay, good. So I have around 41, 42 inches, which is fine for me. So now the next thing I'm going to do now, just like we normally do for our ruffles or ball gun, I'm going to gather the edges of this. Okay, I'm going to gather this first edge here and also the second edge. So you can use thread and needle to gather this or you just run your gather stitch and drag it with it, whichever one is fine for you. So I'll go do this now and then bring it back to show us. So I've gone ahead to run my gather stitches now and then I'll just pick one strand and then I'm going to use it to gather this, to fit into this. So I'm gathering it to this side and this side. Remember, there are two ends so i'm gathering it like this be careful not to cut your thread okay but if you really really want to achieve something nice and to make your twist easier you may want to consider using more organza but for the purpose of this tutorial i'll be working with this 
and this will also give us something nice okay so you keep gathering it till you are sure they are even and you have something that's going to fit into this so the same thing i'm doing here now i'll do to this other hand also okay so they have been gathered now both sides have been gathered and then i'm going to sew this part first so the way i'm going to sew it i'm going to place it on it like this and then i'm going to sew it so that by the time i sew it and i turn it it will be neatly finished on this side so when i do that i'm going to show us how i'm going to manage to turn this also so that it will also be neatly finished but before i go further remember there is going to be a twist around here so before you gather it like this you can decide to notch the midpoint of your organza and rule a line here so that to guide you when you want to do your twist ball i can actually i bought this that was why i just went straight to gather them like this but if you're a beginner and you don't and want to make it easier for yourself you can just fold the organza into two like this notch it on. so i've sewn it like this like i said now once i fold it over it's going to be, it's going to be neatly finished so on this side also i'm going to be sewing this to this like this so after sewing it to it i'm just going to sew it i'll bring it back so that we'll understand it better okay so i've gone ahead to sew it now and you can see what we have so like i was saying you may want to double your organza so remember organza is quite transparent so that you, if you don't want to be seeing your fabric underneath like this or you can decide to use mercury which is a bit thicker and, and to give you the same result so now to conceal these rough edges you can either slash this bicep area open and sew it back but i don't want to sew it so i'm just going to fold this over like this and then i'm going to follow the same line that i have here so that by the time i sew it and i turn it this part will also be neat both in and out okay so you can see i've gone ahead to sew it now and you can see that it is quite neat that's why i don't want to cut it here so that if i cut it and sew it back i'll still be seeing the rough edges so i prefer to use this method so that i can have something neat like this and because organza do frill so i don't like to leave the edges so i have it neat both inside and outside but you will notice that there are excesses here because I used around 20 inches instead of the space that I have here. So the excess here, I'm going to try to pleat it like this to fit into this small space here and here. Then after doing that, I'll bring it back so that we can continue the next thing we want to do. Okay, so now I've sewn it on both sides now. So the next thing now is to create our middle twist. So to do that, remember I was explaining that you may decide to just, before you gather it, you may decide to knot the middle by chucking it before you gather it and add to this. But if you can eyeball it, it's fine. So now, I have my sleeve like this. The first thing I'll just do is to try to trace it to the middle here. So that my twist will be around the middle area. So I've traced it here now by just using my hand to check it. And then I'll measure the measurement that I have there so that it will be uniform on that side. So now I've tried to push this, push this to the middle. I hope you can see what I'm doing here. I push this to the middle now and then I'm going to measure what I have. So I have around 7 inches. So now I'll pass my needle and thread, a matching needle and thread. And then from this 7 inches mark here, I'll start to pick it like I'm gathering it. So basically what I'm doing is gathering this and I'm gathering it in the middle, okay? This is because I choose the middle. It's not compulsory to be in the middle. You can decide to gather it. Maybe you have more on the upper part or on the lower part. But the middle is fine for me. So I'll just pick it now and then I'll start gathering it. So if you have your chalk line already there, that's why you're just going to be following. It will be easier for you. But if you don't have it, you may just be picking it like this so that you see where the middle is. And then you continue to gather it by picking it one after the other. So, I hope you are seeing what I'm doing. So, you just keep picking it like that till you get to the end. So, when you are almost at the end, the 7 inches I marked before I started my gather here, 
I'm going to mark it. The reason why you can decide to start gathering it from here. But the reason why I left this little space is so that I can have enough room to twist it a bit. That was why I measured that before I started the gathering. So now I'll continue to gather it now before I drag it. Then I'll show us before I do that because I don't want the video to be too long. Okay, so now I finished dragging it now and I've gotten to the other side. Now you can see that I left the same 7 inches that I started with and I explained why I did that. So now I'm going to gather this together so that I will have something like this. You can see what I have. So after having it, you can decide to just pin it down like this and then you tack it at the middle. But I will just try to twist it a bit before I tack it. So now after doing this now, I'm just going to form like a twist a bit here. So by twisting it, you just need to turn it with your hand a bit. So after twisting it, I'm going to arrange it well. You can twist it as much as you want. Then after twisting it like this, I'm going to sew it down neatly in a way that is not going to show. And then I'll close the sides and my sleeve is ready. You can see how simple it is to make this sleeve. So let's say, assuming we double this organza now, it will look a bit thicker and will not be seeing our fabric. So you can see the rows that we have. You I did not twist it too much. It was somewhere like this. I just twist it a bit like this. So if you have enough room, enough volume to twist more, you can decide to twist it more. You can see it's already folding my fabric because I don't have enough allowance to do that. So I'm just going to drag it very well like this, then twist it, then I'm going to sew it down using my needle and thread at the midpoint here. Okay. So that is about how we are going to do this leaf you can see that it is quite simple to make okay, so you can see so i've tagged it down a bit i can see that it is not obvious that i tagged it so now i'm just going to secure my tag i'm going to tag it here and there a bit and then i'll cut off the thread Okay with this I can see that it's not so obvious on the other side also and then I'll secure my thread before cutting it off so after securing it like this I'm going to cut it off you can also decide to add lining to this if you want you just need to cut your lining exactly the same way you cut your fabric and then you so you arrange it very well and this is what you are going to have okay you can see how lovely this is even with my organza that is not so big it still came out beautiful so the next thing to do now is to fold this together now and then sew the side of this loop then i'll take it to the mannequin so that we'll see what we have Okay, so this is our sleeve. This is the bicep part, the upper part, like I said. If you don't want this part to be showing, you can decide to take your own gathers to your ham hole area. It doesn't have to start here, but this is the style that I want. So I just follow this style. And this is the twisted part of the sleeve. You can see how lovely this is. Like I said in the video, you can decide to double this organza for a thicker effect and you can even make it fuller than this so that you'll not be feeling the inner part of your main sleeve like this so and also you can twist it as much as you want you can see how lovely and simple it is to make this it's very simple to make and you can decide to use a mercury fabric for this instead of organza if you want to so this is the pencil part of the sleeve and this is the complete sleeve I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If you enjoyed this tutorial, let us know in the comment section. Give this video a like, thumbs up, share with your friend. Subscribe to our channel if you haven't. And I will see you in the next one. Bye.